Listening Library presents Who Was Eleanor Roosevelt? by Gare Thompson. Read for you by Kevin Pariseau. Who Was Eleanor Roosevelt? During the 1930s and early 1940s, Eleanor Roosevelt was our country's first lady. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was President of the United States then, was her husband. There have been more than 40 First Ladies of the United States. What made Eleanor Roosevelt so special? Well, for one thing, Eleanor was First Lady longer than anyone else was. FDR, as he was called, was elected President four times. Eleanor was First Lady for 12 years, from 1933 to 1945, when FDR died. Before Eleanor, First ladies gave dinner parties, they gave teas, but they did not speak out on important issues concerning our country. That's what the President did. Eleanor Roosevelt, however, worked while she was First Lady. She wrote newspaper columns and books. She gave radio interviews and taught classes. She worked hard to help the United Nations. Eleanor had opinions and shared them with the world. She let people know what she thought about important issues of the time, such as equality for all Americans. Eleanor Roosevelt paved the way for the First Ladies who followed her. Now, most First Ladies have a cause. Some have focused on the danger of drugs, others have fought for better schools and libraries, and others for health care. Eleanor Roosevelt was a smart and brave First Lady. And even after she left the White House, Eleanor continued to work. By the time of her death in 1962, Eleanor Roosevelt was known as the First Lady of the World. Chapter 1 Early Years It was spring 1887. Eleanor Roosevelt was almost three years old. She was very excited. She was going to cross the Atlantic Ocean on a great ship, the Britannica. Her father, whom Eleanor adored, had told her about the different countries that the family would visit. The Britannica left from New York City's harbor. On the very first day of the voyage, the fog was very thick. Ships coming into the harbor could be heard, but they could not be seen easily. Suddenly the sound of ripping steel filled the air. Another ship had rammed into the Britannica. Was the Britannica going to sink? Would everyone drown? People on board panicked. Eleanor's father got her mother, her aunt, Eleanor's nurse, and himself into a boat. But where was Eleanor? She was still on the deck of the ship. As the lifeboat was lowered into the ocean, her father saw her. He pleaded with her to jump into his arms. Jump, little Nell, jump, I'll catch you, cried her father. But Eleanor was too scared. Finally, Eleanor let go of the sailor holding her, and she fell into her father's waiting arms. The lifeboat took them safely to shore, and Eleanor was able to calm down. But that terrible day stayed with Eleanor all her life. It took her years to overcome her fear of water and boats. Even so, that fearful little girl became a fearless, famous world traveler. Eleanor Roosevelt was born on October 11, 1884, in New York City. She was named Anna Eleanor Roosevelt. She was called Eleanor because her mother's name was also Anna. Eleanor's mother was known for her great beauty. Her father, Elliot Roosevelt, was a smart, dashing gentleman. They both came from rich and successful families. They could trace their ancestors back over two hundred years. At the turn of the century, rich and poor people lived very different lives. In New York City, the rich lived in mansions. They had servants who waited on them. The rich all seemed to know one another. They married one another. The men worked as bankers, lawyers, or in a family business. Women did not work. They stayed home, entertained, and visited one another. It was important to dress fashionably and look lovely. Eleanor...
Sample complete. Ready to continue?